place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i beat my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be okay so hi guys first of all and welcome to another video today i wanted to film an empty apartment tour and these are the keys to the apartment and if you are watching this video it means that this apartment has a new owner and that there is someone else living here that's why um, i have posted it um, if you hear some noises there are some roadworks um, outside and there is also the ac so those are basically the background noises you will be hearing but I wanted to share with you an empty apartment tour and just basically show you how my apartment was before it goes to someone else. So let me start by showing you the kitchen. I am sure you have seen the kitchen some time ago from another video. Um, it's everything empty. There are boxes. There's a little bit of stuff around and um, I still have some stuff to pack, but most of it has already been gone to a new location. The plan is obviously selling this apartment, which has been sold, the garage underneath it, and then buying a new bigger house with my loved one. So this is the kitchen. Um, you have seen it decorated and everything. And there's my planners over there. You see that? And yeah, basically what remains um, on the kitchen counters needs to come with me too. This was the dining table. Don't mind the curtains. They are um, curtains that my mom gave me just to keep the sunlight outside from the room so that there's no damage to the furniture. This is the sofa with my stuff on it. Again, there's a lot of stuff around still which um, we still need to empty. This was the bathroom. Let me just show you. That's my washing machine there, which I'm gonna miss a lot. There's a bit of stuff there, which I still need to um, collect and pack again, as I said. Um, and I have the bathtub, don't mind that bucket. So this was the bathroom. Then you go into the other rooms. Um, by the way, one of my neighbors has a lot of birds, so you will be hearing that. But um, there's some clothes which I still need to pack. Those need to get packed too. Again, don't mind the curtains. Let me just switch on the lights. We have basically removed um, the lights, the decorated lights that were there, and we have just placed a bulb in every room um they will be remaining here but we have taken the beautiful shades and stuff that we had for lights then this was a spare bedroom and as you can see there was a lot of storage because i had a huge closet um this was also sort of a chest of drawers this was the bed with the storage underneath i wanted a lot of storage and that is something which i will be doing um, also in the new house um, the first thing that i'm going to be thinking about is storage um, i had a bookshelf over there um, that small desk and the nightstand and then this was the corridor as you can see there's a lot of sunlight coming into this apartment this is my main bedroom was actually as you can see there were a lot of pictures and stuff over there everything is practically naked there is no bed sheets on the bed this was the closet and then the nightstand over there, another nightstand over there, the mirror, the curtains, which are ugly again, 
um, and that was another sort of chest of drawers with the mirror on. Um, the curtains are very old, very ugly. Um, my mom used to um, put them um, over places when we were going to paint rooms or something like that or doing some work in our house. She cleaned them up, washed them up and gave them to me until I finished this apartment. And basically what happened is that they remained always here because the apartment was finished and I lived in it for about three or four months during the COVID situation and I basically um, never removed them and then I decided to um, to sell the apartment and they basically remained here. But I will be taking them with me because if we are doing any um, renovations in the new house or at my mom's house, they are very good to put on, they are very durable, they are very old. <laughs> so maybe that's why they are durable. By the way, this was the place where I used to put um, all the stuff related to planners. As you can see, I had a lot of storage once again. And it was full, it was packed, there was a lot of stuff in these drawers um, and in these cupboards over here. But again, I always thought about storage. As you can see, everything is completely empty. There is nothing in this apartment um, apart from a couple of things which I still need to take with me. And yeah, um, this is the view from the spare bedroom again oh horrendous um, pair of curtains and this was the dining table and coming here that was the fridge and the stove which I love and by the way I will be buying again a standalone cooker um, stove whatever you call it and again this was my fridge which I love and I wanted to take it with me but I couldn't because first I didn't have enough storage where to put everything and secondly um, it would have been too much of a hassle and my partner told me look we're going to be buying new stuff for the new house so sell it with the apartment and then we'll see. Anyways this is the double bowl that I had for the sink. This obviously comes out like this which I'm very much in love with it and that's the situation over there my bag boxes and boxes and my planner this is I wanted to show you this one this is the um, pouch where I am keeping all the pens that I am using with this planner let me just show you I have a ton of pens over there I have a lot of sharpies i have purchased um a huge set of sharpies actually and as you can see there's a lot and a lot of pens over there um i did incorporate um sort of a system for packing because i gave a color to each room that i was packing from for example if i am packing um from the uh from the kitchen the label of the kitchen would be, for example, green. Um, so I would be um, writing kitchen on the label of the box with the green and then um, set up another label that I would attach underneath on the box and just write what's in the box with uh, the black Sharpie. Then this green would um, correspond to a sticker in one of the pages um, in the planner um, because I have an insert um, for moving um, and uh, the greens would be the kitchen so wherever you see for example green it would mean kitchen wherever you see I don't know the pink it means that it's a box with mixed items coming from a lot um, of different uh, rooms and so on and so forth. So I did um, implement a system and this is the planner that I was using. It's a, a TN basically, actually it's not a TN. It's a, it's a cover and it was for a Hobonichi. I got it over eBay and I transformed it into a traveler's notebook because I have added bands as you can see here. And um, I also added an elastic band 
And what I've done is I have placed inserts. As you can see, I have one from Erin Condren over here, the first insert. Then I have a gorgeous one, then another insert from Erin Condren. And here I have a quote, when you don't move, God sends things to move you. And another insert from Erin Condren. I want to give you a little bit of a spoiler or I don't know, some information about what's going on. Um, I have fell in love deeply, hardly, whatever that is, with the Erin Condren products. Um, some time ago in one of my videos, I had said that I could never fit in an Erin Condren. And to rectify the matter, I would not be fitting into an Erin Condren vertical layout. I think they are the life planners, but in all the rest, I can fit. And I purchased a lot of these inserts. This is the Kaleidoscope and this is the layers from Erin Condren. Um, this is, I believe, for the moving. Let me check a little bit. Yeah, it's for the moving of stuff. So I won't be opening it up because there are addresses and stuff. Um, so here I do have a complete list of all the boxes that I have packed and where each box need to go into the new house. I will explain further a little bit about the system that I have been using. And here I have getting a new home. This is a booklet that I have set up um, to keep up with the various agencies I had working on the property um, and with a lot of stuff for the selling of this apartment and the purchasing of the new one. So as you can see, that is why I have labeled it getting a new home. And this is a booklet with a lot of plans. Um, I don't know, objectives, stuff that I need to do, etc. But it all has to do with the moving process, the um, getting a new home, selling this one. So this is basically getting my new home, traveler's notebook, planner, I don't know, whatever that is. So when I grab this, I am sure I will be grabbing everything that has to do with selling my apartment and purchasing a new home. So, for those of you that would like to know better about um, the system that I have been using, I am going to explain it a little bit more once again. Okay, so let me explain in detail for those of you that would like to have a moving planner, as I call it, and try to follow my same system. So, as I explained, I had different colors for every room assigned. So, the blue was for a room the purple was for another, red, pink, so on and so forth. And the black one, I would write whatever is in the box. Then, let me cover a little bit. This was the legend that I was using. So it is inventory of boxes and pages. I have sectioned out my um, notebook with page numbering. So I sort of, I think I use the bullet journal system here and I have assigned page 1 to 12 for everything related to the kitchen, um, another one 13 to 18 um, for the living and you go on like that. I have written what's uh, the room that I will be um, listing stuff for and these are the colors and these dots here which are stickers correspond to the sharpie color that I would be using so let's say I am packing kitchen stuff I would be placing um, stuff in the box I would write the label kitchen with the red sharpie and then I would add another label underneath it with uh, writing with a black sharpie, including some uh, of the description of the stuff that I have in that box. So it would have a label kitchen written in red corresponding to this dot here. And it would have a label in black sharpie um, sort of writing, I don't know, cups, plates, um, spoons, etc. Giving a little bit of a description of what's in the box that I am packing. Then I would go and write it down over here. 
without the dots. So it's important. Once I write this description here, I would have not attached this label here, which corresponds to the same color. Um, once I take this box to storage, I would attach this dot. So if I had a whole page listed of stuff that I have already packed and I would have various boxes, um, once I take them to storage, I would attach this and I would know which boxes are still of the apartment and which boxes are still um, have already been taken to uh, storage. So I think that was a very good organized way to keep track of the boxes. Then once we move um, to the new house and start taking the boxes from storage to the new house, I would just mark inside of these dots to uh, denote that the box has arrived sort of to destination, which is to the new house. Because if I do um, hire movers and they will be taking all the boxes from storage to the new house, I need to keep track which boxes have arrived and which not, so that I can track whether there is any box which has been lost, misplaced, or anything like that. So I kept practical track of everything. The Sharpies helped me a lot. Keeping this has helped me a lot. I'm not showing you the whole page because there's a lot of information about the storage unit where um, these boxes are. And basically this helped me so much and my anxiety was kept at bay once again. And it was something that, I don't know, I think I came uh, up with this idea after watching a couple of videos from She's in Her Apron when she was moving and then I could basically just um, set up my system so that it worked for me. I have a section as I said for kitchen, for living, for bathroom, for everything and then once they were in the storage um, I also divided the boxes um, with the fragile on one side and those which are not fragile um, on the other side so that when we are moving we can move the stuff which has fragile stuff in it ourselves and maybe leave the other boxes to the moving company that I would hire or something like that but I wanted to make sure that I had everything labeled everything set up so that nothing gets broken and hopefully everything arrives to destination um, as best as it can this um, traveler's notebook helped me a lot and having a section that um, a place that is dedicated to this move to the new house and everything is something I would recommend to everyone because um, you can compartmentalize your work. I don't want to be carrying with me moving um, notebooks and stuff related to moving into the new house with me every day because I don't need them. And this for now is staying at the apartment because we are still moving some stuff. So there is a little bit something which is still pending for me to uh, move to storage and to pack. So it's a huge project, but if you keep organized, um, you won't be um, absolutely disappointed with everything you need to keep track of stuff that you have been doing so far and also set up your to-do list for whenever you go to the location whether it's the new house or the old apartment or the old house pack stuff and i did do all the packing and the moving of stuff um, over weeks so it did not happen in a day or two actually it took us a lot of time it was me and my partner with our vehicles that moved all the boxes and everything from this apartment to storage. But next time, um, from the storage to the new house, I think I would be hiring someone because it has been an exhaustive um, procedure that we went to. But everything is going to be fine. I'm telling myself I'm excited for the new house. I'm excited to um, start a new project. It's a little bittersweet um, living in this uh, space and leaving it after a few months and after all the work that I have done, but I'm happy. I think I am looking to the future differently now. A year ago, I did not have um, any of this set up and I was asking myself where I would be 
what I would be doing in a year, and I never, ever thought I would be here doing this. So in a year, everything completely changed. But I don't want to annoy you with a lot of chit-chat and stuff. I just wanted to show you my empty apartment, um, just because some of you had asked me time and time ago about it. I have showed just a little bit of it in one of the videos when the kitchen came. And before I go, before I leave it, I just wanted to film this video for you and even for my memories because once I get out and give out the keys, I will not be able to come back. So this apartment has been one of the biggest projects I ever had in my life. And now we are leaving it for another project. Hopefully a bigger one because I want a house with the garages and everything for my cars. But I'm hoping and I think that I am attracting such thing for me too. So until the next video, thank you for coming back. Thank you for staying with me during this video and for watching so far of it. And please take care as usual and until the next one. Bye.